Hello everyone. In this video, I want to continue our discussion about object-oriented programming in Java. More specifically, I will focus on the topic of interfaces. What are interfaces and how to use them in Java programs? So up until this point, we have been dealing with classes all the time. Uh, our .java file only contain classes, right? It's either an abstract class or a regular class or classes that extend other class. Um, but uh, in this tutorial, uh, let's create some interface and see how to use them. So let's right click on our package name and then uh, we choose um, new and then we go to uh, Java class. And in the uh, kind drop down menu, right? Right now you select class. Let's click on this drop down menu and choose interface. And let's give this interface a new name. Uh, in this tutorial, I will just call it uh, demo. And let's hit OK to create our interface. So that's our interface uh, generated by our IDE. Right? It's called demo, and it's public. Now let's talk about what is an interface. Remember in the last video where we talked about that an abstract class can contain abstract methods as well as regular methods. Now you can think of an interface as an abstract class that only contains abstract methods. In other words, every method inside of an interface doesn't have a concrete implementation. The purpose of an interface is to acting like a contract among classes. And if the class agree to the contract, you need to follow its rules. Hence, implement all methods in the interface. OK, so now let's try to uh, define some uh, demo method in our interface. And let's see how to um, do that and implement those in other classes. Uh, so let's first define a demo method. And the return type is void. And it takes uh, a parameter. Uh, let's say it takes an integer, right, and called v. And then we can just end it with a semicolon, uh, since this is an abstract method, right? We only need to provide the signature of the method, not a concrete implementation. Uh, let's define another one. At this time, let's do the return type as a string. And let's call this demo string. And it takes no parameter. And let's end it with a semicolon. Uh, so since we're defining this method inside of a interface, uh, they are automatically uh, abstract and public. So we don't need to uh, specify the access modifier as well as the abstract keyword. Uh, now let's see how to implement this interface. Uh, let's go to our student class and let's uh, implement our demo interface. So right after we extend the person class in our class signature, uh, let's type a space and type the keyword implement, followed by our interface name, which is uh, demo. So right after we do this, uh, we got an error because we need to implement the methods inside of the demo interface. Uh, so let's click on that, and let's implement these two methods. Uh, the first one is to override the demo method, and the second one is the uh, override the demo string. For the purpose of demonstration, I'm just going to output the uh, integer. Uh, so we do system.out.println, and let's say uh, this is uh, from, from uh, interface. And let's concatenate with the integer v. And in the second method, uh, let's just return a string, and let's say uh, this is uh, this is from uh, demo string. Now let's go to our main.java and let's create 
uh, a student. Well, let's first comment out the uh, output from the last tutorial. Let's use our student reference to call the method. First, let's call demo method. And let's pass a uh, integer, let's say 90. And then let's print out the second method, which is demo string. So we do system.out.println s dot demo string. Um, so make sure there's no other output and let's run this program. Um, we should be able to get, yes, this is from interface 90. This is from demo string. Uh, so as you can see, uh, we implement the interface and we got expected results. And um, just like um, abstract classes, uh, interfaces cannot be instantiated, but we can create a variable that is of the type of this interface, but reference to uh, the class that is actually implementing this interface. Now let's talk about the differences between abstract class and interface. First of all, in a Java interface, all variables defined in this interface are public, static, and final. And you cannot change this. Uh, and like we talked about before, uh, all methods in interface are public. And you cannot change this as well. Uh, whereas in an abstract class, uh, you have more freedom uh, to create uh, whatever type of variables and method as you wish. And secondly, a class can only extend one abstract class, but can implement multiple interfaces at the same time. Lastly, design-wise, abstract class is designed for sharing code among related classes. And you are expecting classes that extend your abstract class have many common methods or fields, where interfaces are uh, more focusing on implementing the behavior rather than relationships. Um, the same interface can be implemented uh, by completely unrelated classes. Hopefully that makes sense and will help you uh, in designing your code structure in the future. So that's it for today. Thanks for watching, guys, and see you next time.